Hello, this is Jerry, and I'm going to review this Monocala or these Monocala titanium knives. And uh, they both have 14C28N steel and um, titanium handles, and they're a pretty good price. I think 45 or something like that on Amazon. And um, the first one I got is this one, and it has terrible I don't think you can, you're gonna be able to tell in here but it has terrible lock rot wait a minute yeah no this one I'm sorry this is the first one I got it has let me see if I can hold it still can y'all see that it's damn I just took one of them apart and filed the um, detent this is the easier detent one of them feels good to fidget, and the other one's really solid. I just, you know what, that helped. I took it apart and filed the detent a little bit. So, um, now that they're not so hard, uh, you know what? That may have helped when I took it apart. No, here it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Now you can see. Can you hear it? It's pretty bad. But because Amazon, I didn't even, I wanted the company to know, you know, to, to uh, make it right. But Amazon just paid for it, which, I mean, yeah, I got the other knife. So that's it's kind of fixed, you could say. But I'd let the company to know that something wasn't right, you know, for them to make it right. I think it's a pretty decent knife for the money. But obviously they don't have crazy good, um, what do you call it? I'm going to draw a blank. I do this. Y'all know I've had strokes. Uh, when they inspect it, what is that called? Like when it goes through um, quality control. I, I don't know if they have all that grade of quality control, but it's still for like a work knife or something. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, you, it's pretty lightweight. It's pretty well balanced. And um, it, they didn't come very sharp, but it wasn't hard. It's 14 C to 8 in steel, so I like that. And uh, come here, Don Quixote. Anyway, yeah, I'll probably I'll, I'll probably end up selling these because they're not really crazy fun fidget factor, and uh, they're a cool knife. I mean, you know, especially for the price, it's titanium and good steel. Come here, and uh, but they're not really crazy fun fidget factor, and the ergonomics are good. It has nice jimping on the back. It's very effective, but I, I'm just really disappointed that that one is so. It's so stiff, it's not really fun. And the other one has crazy fidget. I mean, ugh, crazy fidget. The other one has um, crazy lock rock, just insane. It's really, uh, I wish you could see it. It's, I'm having a hard time showing. But um, the other one they, they sent me, it has a really strong lock. There's no play in it. There's not blade play in either, just that lock rock. But uh, the new one that has a really tight lock, uh, lock bar, it's not as fidget friendly, so I don't know. That's just being, ah, uh -uh, come here, ah, uh -uh, come, get over here, come. Sorry, y'all, come. Don, get over here, come, come, get over here, come. My silly dog, here's another dog barking, come here. Anyway, I guess that's all I got. Um, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. I do like where they fasten it three times. I always talk about that. It's redundant. They put three standoffs and three, uh, you know, screws so i like that i think that's cool i wish more knife companies would do that two is really okay but to me when they put three it's just like yeah all right cool so if it's if it's a really good like work knife you want or self-defense or utilitarian type knife it's excellent i mean you got titanium lightweight and the clip is nice so everything is kind of nice but just you know, if you like the fidget factor, you may get one that does, you may get one that don't. And the lock rock was, I don't know what the company will do. I would think it's kind of hard to get with these companies on Amazon. I, I, it's just that part sucks, but at least Amazon kind of makes it right. But anyway, I guess that's all I have on these. And thank y'all. God bless. Take care.